welcome back to the channel guys hope everybody's having a good day hey look here today we're gonna have a little bit of a different video today we're gonna go over my 2003 Dodge Ram Cummins so let's get right into it so let me start by saying sorry my beard's itchy let me start by saying I bought this truck about three years ago I guess down in Augusta Georgia I'm in Chattanooga Tennessee if you didn't know I think I said it in a previous video but I can't remember but I bought it down in Augusta Georgia at a dealer got a great deal on it of course I put some money into it also but I have the Banks Monster Ram it already had that on there it uh it has the edge as you can see it's got the edge power product on there already so it's got the display inside uh, we'll go over that here in just a minute but uh, it already had a lot of stuff done to it as you can see it's got the big Iron Cross bumper on the front of it doesn't have a winch it was black before but uh I'll add a, a picture of a before and after a lot of stuff to this truck but uh it had that that big bumper on there it's already leveled um, let's go over like the body it had like the it had the the old classic style uh, black flip up mirrors the tow mirrors but they were the, the typical third gen mirrors so I bought these it's an eBay special what can I say they're cheap but it's got the blinker in it just like the fourth gen it's got the the blinker in the in the mirrors right here you can you might be able to see the, the little reflective pieces in that but that's real nice uh, it comes on with your blinker along with the outside it still flips up just like your your typical tow mirrors they're power heated so that was that's nice about 150 bucks on ebay not a, not a bad deal they uh they're not power folding like the fourth gen but who needs power folding you just fold it yourself if you really have to but i never have them up to tow i only tow a 6x12 trailer every occasionally so it's not a big deal um as you can see the wheels got some ultra motorsports wheels on there they're kind of inexpensive I got them from Custom Offset. Just got me some new Cooper tires. These Cooper tires are awesome. They're the AT3 XLT. Uh, they got slightly aggressive tread, tread pattern uh, on the sidewall right there, as you can see. And uh, and they're they're extremely quiet on road. Uh, I'm thoroughly impressed. I probably won't go with another mud terrain because these things are so quiet. I love it. Um, a lot of you guys might like the, the mud bogger sounds or something. I guess as I get older, I'm just starting to like the, the quietness of going down the road. I'd rather hear the exhaust and the, and the turbo than my tires. So. Uh, so anyway, part of my upgrading, a lot of people don't like the chrome. They want the color matched uh, stuff. You know, I had the, I had the black stripe down the, down the bottom of it right there. Um, the, bumper, the bumper was all black at one time. Uh, it's just the, the powder coating black that they have from, the, from that company. Um, but you know, I, I kind of grew out of it. I wanted something with nice accents, something that would, uh, I guess, complement a nice road truck versus an off-road or a hauler because I don't really haul with it. And it's just a occasional daily driver for me. I just like it. Um, this is my third diesel truck out of the four trucks I've had. So I just like, I just like diesels. My first truck was an 03 Dodge exactly like this, but in white. Um, so I didn't quite do as much to it. This is a six speeds, the MV5600. It runs great. I've got a South Bend dual disc clutch I had put on it in it about a year and a half ago. You know, the shifting's a little bit tougher because the dual disc, but for the most part, you shift it right, it shifts smooth. And uh, the thing will last you forever uh, as long as you're not doing a whole lot with it. So I don't do a whole lot with it. It's got 275,000 miles on it. Uh, thing still runs like a top. I change the oil every five to 6,000 miles, basically every six months. Um, and honestly, I don't hit that mileage since I don't drive it every day. Uh, so that's that's kind of where we're at on this. It's it's already leveled. Um, I bought the, the chrome covers right here for the handles. It has, for this, for the 0305s, I know it's got the, it comes with the whole casing. I didn't really care for it because I was trying to match like a fourth gen. So I just did the, uh, I painted the, I painted the inside the door handles and then I just put the chrome accent on the outside which is a lot of vehicles are now going to so I kind of like that that look it's a slight accent on the uh, on the chrome mirrors so uh, I really enjoy that it's got um, it's got the uh, 
the diamond plated toolbox it came with it and the and the covers right here on the bed rails it came with that too i kind of like it it kind of dresses the truck up a little bit um but anyways uh let's go in we'll see uh let's go inside the truck and see what's going on so inside the truck nothing special it's your typical dodge interior you know it's an 03 i know a lot of you guys are are you know used to something newer you know 10 12 2015 uh, they got all the nice amenities, but you know, this is a 03 nothing special. It's got power seats It's got the the gray cloth interior. Thank goodness. It's not tan You know, it's got dash a couple issues with the dash. There's a couple a couple cracks in it, but honestly Overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the amount of mileage and everything that this thing doesn't have uh, more cracks and, and mess ups, you know the center center console here it doesn't have any elbow piece, uh, pieces breaking up on it or anything and i you know i ride with my elbow on that all day long so uh there's the the edge monitor right there it's got a nice display readout you can change which gauges you see on it you can change your tire size uh all that kind of stuff really good i like it um so it works really well uh, i usually keep it on two or three occasionally turn it up to four or whatever if you want to have a little fun but otherwise it just it just stays in that this is the the quad cab which is the the four fold out regular doors uh so they didn't have the um they didn't have the full size rear doors at the time but it's plenty of room i've got i've got two two boys and they have plenty of room to crawl in and out and get in their seats and everything so it's more than enough room if you want to go on a trip i mean you might want to have a a bed cover or a bed cap to have more luggage in to have more space but it does for us and it's got your normal readout and all that kind of stuff so it's a it's a good running truck um i mow yards about once every two weeks five or six of them so i mean it does a does a great job for that so uh it's it's really anything i ever need i really don't even need something this big honestly i could use a gas but i just love diesels i've i've had it three out of my four trucks were diesels so i just i like the reliability i like uh if i can pull anything i want to of course i've got the upgraded cummins turbo diesel badges like the newer ones so I got that as part of my upgrade package, so to speak. It does have the uh, Air Dog 2 uh, on it, which is right there, as you can see. So it does have the Air Dog 2 um, water fuel separator and the uh, fuel filter on it. Comes in real handy. You need it almost on all these trucks because if you uh, if you know these trucks, their fuel pump on the side of the engines or the CP3 pumps, a lot of times they go out. So you, you gotta change them a lot. So they're expensive, they're 800 bucks and then you gotta change it. So uh, it, uh, it adds up and then you gotta have somebody if they do the work on it or whatever, or I try and do whatever I can. I have had the, ch the hubs changed on this uh, not long after I got it, hubs were, they just got bad really quick and uh and i didn't even have these i had factory wheels and tires on it so these are 20 by nines with i believe a negative 12 offset if you can see that that offset they stick out about i don't know inch and a half maybe so when the water hits it you can see what part of the tire uh what part of the tires it's it's on but for some of you that want to get a, a visual aspect it's kind of hard but they stick out i don't know probably probably closer to two inches at least the tires tires are 285 60 20s um i think they fit the trip good because it's only leveled it's not lifted it could probably use a small lift and still be okay with these tires but if you go up anything like a four inch or something you probably want 35s but i think it fits well it does have an mbrp uh a four inch i don't know if you can see it in there it's a that's a five inch outlet but uh you can see how big that pipe is this is actually a a five to I believe it's a eight inch out tip and I actually put a uh, special muffler in there that has the flow pro style twist in it kind of like a corkscrew and uh, uh, sounds really good uh, not real loud once I put that uh, flow pro twist uh, the twist corkscrew style muffler in there took out any drone from MBRP I still have the muffler if anybody wants to buy it I'll sell it, try and sell it to you for cheap if you're local, hopefully. If not, we can see about shipping it, but uh, it's the MBRP exhaust. I just got a lot of drone from it in the cab. It just sounded like you were 
uh, your ears were gonna pop like you were in a in a uh, airplane so but anyways so that's kind of the rundown of the truck you know the bumper it's got the monster banks uh, ram intake for the the intercooler it's got the air dog it's got the four to five inch MBRP exhaust leveled with some 20 by nines so I'll show you a before and after picture I'll post on here uh, I had blacked out the grill with uh, plastic dip you know look good the bumper was black the sides right down the sides here were uh, black from the body line right there down uh, it looked good at the time and then I just I started not liking the the black dull look of it everything I kind of wanted to dress it up a little make it more of a nice road queen I mean I know people are probably gonna roast me for a Cummins diesel being a road queen but I like my truck the paints actually in really good condition for being what 16 years old now plus so I like it it's a good truck for me uh, it does what I need it to do and that six-speed you can't beat that uh, it's it's the most reliable transmission they've probably ever put out other than maybe upgrading their newer automatics but uh, it was for back then it was reliable it was what everybody was looking for for the 5.9 inline six common rail you know six speed that was the, the ultimate package so future stuff is gonna be headlights that headlight looks all right but if you step around here to this one oh man that thing is dull I want to change them out to those DRL LED ones that have the little line that goes all the way around. Love them. I think they look good. I think they gives them more of a modern look. We're going to change that out probably eventually, but I think those are like 240 bucks for the set and I'm just not prepared to pay that right now when I have other stuff. I want to do fender flares, not the big bulky squared off ones, which I can't stand, but I might go with more of like a factory flat, um, flat ones, but they're rounded. And then try and add something to it to give it that little dimension kind of like the newer fourth gen uh, dodges have with that little angled out and then they go flat uh, i like the look of those but they don't make them that i've found for this truck so if you do comment below let me know and uh and i'll look them up i just don't want to spend a whole ton of money on fender flares when they're mostly for looks because these tires are still going to stick out some more so uh let me know and uh and i'll look them up maybe maybe some viewers can can help me out with that so guys that's my rundown on my 03 dodge cummins 5.9 common rail six speed love the truck it'll haul up anything it'll it'll go up any any hill that i put it on right now and it'll it'll crawl it in first or second gear without a problem without any gas it'll just go so uh if you like it if you want to see more content if you want to um, see more upgrades on this truck or as you know I have my 99 GT that I'm also doing stuff to uh, here and there but if you uh, have anything else you want to see done on my Cummins comment below I'm interested to see what what y'all have to hear I'd like to put a small lift on it I'm not a real big lift guy like 8 10 inch lift or 12 inch lift and big 40 inch tires that stick out and all that stuff they look great but as far as the uh, daily use or, or usability in the bed and all that stuff it, it just doesn't work good so i don't mind a small lift uh with the offset tires and maybe some small fender flares uh give it a nice look but comment below hit the subscribe button the bell i'll try and get some more uh more contact here in the near future um i have like six days off occasionally or every other week so i'm going to try and boost out some more stuff at least what i can afford if not comment below what kind of videos you'd like to see and I'll see if I can do a video on it. If I ever do repairs on them, I'll do that too. In the near coming future, I'm gonna do a video on my 99 Mustang GT, which is right here in the garage because that's where I keep it because it'll fit and my Cummins will not fit, obviously, being a long bed and, a, uh, and just a taller vehicle. But I will be doing more videos on this thing so that'll be coming i think in the near future wrapping the car will be coming so check it out comment hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys back again in the near future see ya